In this video, I'll show you the different ways to use natural language processing in Google Cloud Platform. Natural language processing, usually shortened as NLP, is the branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the interaction between computers and humans using the natural language. Computers don't have an intelligence like humans. NLP gives computer flexibility to understand and speaks like human. You might have seen a lot of examples in the real life like virtual assistants including Siri, Alexa or Amazon Go or robot that talks like humans. These are all the examples of natural language processing. There are a lot of use cases of natural language processing and one of the most important use case is text classification where you can get the social posts from different platforms including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or TikTok or any other platform or you can also get the customer feedback from the website or CRM systems or you can also get the reviews from different platforms including Google Maps, Zomato, Talabat or TripAdvisor or Booking.com or any platform and you can classify them into different categories. Chatbots are also a very popular use case of natural language processing. You might have interacted with the chatbots to get the information about a business. Extract information or entity extraction is also a very popular use case of natural language processing. So let's say if you have a lot of data where people are talking about the laptop specification, you can use natural language processing to extract the RAM, processor or any other specification about the laptop using natural language processing. Sentiment analysis is widely used use case of natural language processing. There are a lot of tools available in the market that use sentiment analysis to categorize the text into three different categories, uh, positive, negative, or neutral. There are three different ways to use natural language processing in Google Cloud Platform. First one is natural language API. Google has created ready-made NLP models that are accessible using APIs. You can pass the text to this model and get the response using APIs. Demo for Natural Language API is also available on the Google website. You can look at the Natural Language API demo and if this works for you, then this is the easiest way to enable natural language in your application. Second is AutoML. For AutoML, you need to provide training data to machine learning model, but backend is created by Google. You don't have to bother with the extensive work required to create machine learning model. Just provide the data and in few clicks your model is ready to use. Third option is custom models. You can create notebooks within the Google AI platform or create virtual machines and use Python or any other language to create machine learning model. Natural Language API doesn't provide any flexibility to tweak models. If it doesn't fit your requirements, then you need to find another solution. AutoML gives you the flexibility to create model based on your requirements. You can define your labels and train it with your data set, but tweaks to the AutoML model are limited. Custom models give you the flexibility to do any kind of customizations. So it depends on your use case to select which option suits you well. To access the NLP models in Google Cloud Platform, go to console.cloud.google.com and there are two ways to access natural language models. First is from the left menu, Scroll down to AI sections, artificial intelligence sections, and select natural language from here. And the second option is from the search menu, type natural language, and select this option. Models that you are seeing on the right side are API based models. And there is also a demo provided on Google website that you can go through to see what kind of analysis that you can get. So this is the URL cloud.google.com slash natural language. Click on the natural language API demo and they have also provided the text for that. So click on analyze, capture. And now we can see the analysis here. So natural language API has identified a lot of entities there and they have also tried to categorize that. So Google is an organization, Android is a consumer good or it's a product, phone is a consumer good. Keynote is others and Consumer Electro is an event. If you go to the sentiment, it's providing you the sentiment for the entire text and it's also providing you the sentiment for each event there. Then syntax, uh, if you want to understand about the grammar, how the syntax is structured. And the last option is categories. These categories are created by Google. If you want more flexibility, you want to define your own categories, then you need to go for the second option, which is AutoML or custom option. Second option that we discussed was AutoML and first three models are for AutoML. 
First one is text and document classification. This is useful when you want to categorize the text into different classification or categories. So I gave you one example before. If you get the social posts from Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and you want to classify them into different categories, then you can use this model. Or if you want to get the sentiment analysis that that specific post is positive, negative or neutral, then you can use the sentiment analysis auto ML. And then we have the entity extraction auto ML model. Uh, like I gave you an example before, if you have the text data where people are talking about the laptop specification, you can extract the information using this entity extraction model. And last one was custom models. So there are two options for custom models. First option is from the compute engine in the left menu. You can create virtual machine and you can write your own machine learning model there. And second option is you can navigate to artificial intelligence section and you can click on AI platform. And then from the notebooks, you can create Jupyter Notebook here and you can write your code to create your machine learning model. Thank you so much for watching this video.